Hello, welcome to The Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. Today is Saturday, March the 24th, and today we celebrate Cyril, who was the Bishop of Jerusalem. We usually observe his feast on March the 18th, but since March the 18th fell on a Sunday this year, we've moved the feast day till Saturday. Here is the commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. Cyril is the one that we have most to thank for the development of catechetical instructions and liturgical observances during Lent and Holy Week. He was born in Jerusalem about the year 315, and he became bishop of that city probably in the year 349. In the course of political and ecclesiastical disputes, he was banished and restored three times. His catechetical lectures on the Christian faith, given before Easter to candidates for baptism, were probably written by him sometime between the years 348 and 350. The work consists of an introductory lecture, or pro-catechesis, and 18 catecheses based upon the articles of the Creed of the Church at Jerusalem. All these lectures, the earliest catechetical materials surviving today, may have been used many times over by Cyril and his successors, and considerably revised in the process. They were probably part of the pre-baptismal instruction that Egeria, a pilgrim nun from Western Europe, witnessed at Jerusalem in the 4th century, and described with great enthusiasm in the account of her pilgrimage. Many of the faithful would also attend these instructions. Cyril's five mystagogical catechesis on the sacraments, intended for the newly baptized after Easter, are now thought to have been composed or at least revised by John, Cyril's successor as Bishop of Jerusalem from the years 386 to 417. It is likely that it was Cyril who instituted the observance of Palm Sunday and Holy Week during the latter years of his episcopate in Jerusalem. In doing so, he was taking practical steps to organize devotions for countless pilgrims and local inhabitants around the sacred sites. In time, as pilgrims returned to their homes from Palestine, these services were to influence the development of Holy Week observances throughout the entire church. And Cyril attended the Second Ecumenical Council at Constantinople in 381, and he died at Jerusalem on March 18, 386. Let us pray. Strengthen, O oh God, the bishops of your church in their special calling to be teachers and ministers of the sacraments, so that they, like your servant Cyril, may effectively instruct your people in Christian faith and practice, and that we, taught by them, may enter more fully into the celebration of that paschal mystery. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.